Hey, what up, sir? Hey, what up, sir? My fellow bass player, it's your boy Ray J. Just did two quick licks in the major and minor scales of E flat. And I said I'd do show you scale degrees real quick. So I'm going to do that. And if you never heard of scale degrees, this be your first time hearing it. And if you already heard of it, you know, it's nothing new. But all in all, scale degrees just refers to the arrangement of chords that we that goes with um, any or all major scales. We know every major scale has a total of eight notes with seven different notes. Well, for each of those seven different notes, you either will attach a minor chord to it or a major major chord to it. And it, it's a system that, that's ran flawlessly. So each chord is either going to be major or minor. Remember, so if it's seven, if it's seven different notes, each note is going to play be played on a major chord or a minor chord. And when you play the chord, each both notes that you hit, both the the root note of the chord and the fifth or the the third or the minor third each both of those notes are still going to be in the major scale that you're in and I will show you that after I show you this so I just wrote the diagram for scale degrees alright see scale degrees and if you want like a more professional interpretation you could just google scale degrees and it show you so the first note of the major scale which is the one the chord attached to it is a major chord alright the second is a minor chord the third note of that of any major scale is a minor the fourth is a major the five is a major the six is a minor and the seven is a minor alright and this is this is the progression alright so, so again the capital M represents a major chord the ca the lowercase m represents a minor chord and the numbers are related to the notes in the ma it, the notes in a major scale any major scale all right so you got that so now let's put it to work so let's let's just keep it let's go to c i was going to do an e flat but I just keep it with all natural notes. Okay, so we have C. Now let's play the C major scale, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, then the octave, which is C. All right, and the seven different notes in the C major scale are C, D, E, F, G, A, B. All right. Now, in order to, to understand further where I'm about to go, you got to understand or you got to know what consists of a major chord or what consists of a minor chord. I should have wrote that down, but the three notes that consist or a triad, you could Google that if you don't understand what that is. A major chord, a three note major chord or three note minor chord is called a triad. And it comes from the Greek word tritilio. It's like, I don't know, I'm just playing. It just all that a triad means just a three note. I'm not Illuminati, a three note chord. So you would have the root, either a major third or a minor third in the five. Okay? Don't want to confuse you. So let's take C. Since we're on the one, let's take uh, a C. If the one in the scale degrees require a major chord, we would just play a C major. One major equals C major because C is the first note in C major scale. So you can play a a C major chord, which is the one a one three and a five of the triad. Remember, a major chord dealing with triads is a one, the three, and the five. A minor triad is a one, a minor third, and the five. Okay, and like I said, if you don't understand anything I'm saying, you can just always Google it or 
just YouTube it, and it, it's a lot of other people who goes like more in depth and gives you that the the comprehensive breakdown. So I'm just want to give you the, the basics or whatnot. So a major a C major chord would be C E G. But whenever since we're playing in bass, we're not going to hit the you know you well you can you can hit this chord right here. All right, and that's C which is the one E and G and as we already know all three of these notes are in the C major scale now you take it up now the second note in any major scale requires a minor chord so you would go to that note in this case of C is D now since the second note in the major scale requires a minor chord you would play that minor chord so you would play a D minor chord all right, and the notes for D minor chord the progression the numbers is oh if you remember the one the minor third and the five so we go to D we go to D which is the one then F is D's minor third and then you play the five of the D which is G yeah which is G yeah I mean A, I'm tripping. It's A. Yeah. I'm trying to convince. Yeah, it's D, F, A. I'm trying to see if, where I could play it differently. Yeah, you can either play it there. You can, you know, work out your own height. You want your notes to sound. I'm just giving you, trying to give you the basic. You just play, like I said, the D, F, and A represents the scale degree of the two minor or the D minor. And that's D, F, and A. And the same thing with the three. The third note in the C major scale is an E. And the third note also gets played on a minor chord. So you find an E minor chord triad which it would be the the root which is the E E's minor third and E's five so we're in where's E right here you would play E G and B alright there's another way you can play it E G that's not B. E G B. Okay. Just like this. And then you would just go to the four, and the four gets a major chord attached to it. So the fourth note in the C major scale is F. So you play an F major chord, which is F A C. F F A C. Let me see if I can get it up here. Okay. All right, and then you would just take that a, ha a whole step up, the same pr pattern, because the five gets a major chord as well. The fifth scale degree gets a major chord as well, which is G, and the G major chord is G B one three five. I mean, I'm tripping. G B D G B. G B okay G G B D like that that's G that's B I mean G B and D right here so that'd be actually D G B and you do the F as well that's still F A C that's still G B D and the six note of the C major scale gets a minor chord attached to it so that would be an A minor chord which is A C E alright so you just found it A C E and it doesn't you can invert it as much as you want just make sure you're hitting the right note so I could use this C this A and this E right here 
So that was this is G B D then A C E. Alright, and the seven, which is B, that gets a minor chord as well. Technically the seven, you would play diminished chord on it, but just for you know major minor purposes, we just say um, a minor because a diminished chord is a minor chord. Alright, so you just play a B minor, which is B, D, and F, sh and whoa, B, D, F sharp. Mm -mm. Yeah, so you would play a diminished chord. So you could just say B, D, and F. Yeah, B, D, and F, or any mixture of that. And technically, that is the root. That is the minor third and the flat, the flat five of the the seven minor chord. So it would be diminished if we're drawing triads or or whatnot. So that would be B, D, and F sharp. B, D, B, D, F. So it'd be something like that. B, D, and F sharp. All right, and then you'd be back at the one which is that C major, which is C, E, C, E, G. All right. That was a 12 minute theory on something you probably will n not use a lot when playing the bass. The route I was going to go the first place, which I don't know why I did. I just wanted to, you know, I don't want to do it half step you or whatnot because I don't like doing it. So, bass chords, when you're playing just a chord, a two note chord, you're only going to use the root and you're going to use either the major third or the minor third. Most of the time, you never use the five. So remember when I said a major chord or major triad is the root, third, and fifth. When you play a bass chord, the two notes you're gonna use is just the root and that third. So for example, if we go down the scale degrees, just using the root and the third, or the root or the minor third, depending on if it's a minor chord or a major chord. C major, you're just gonna do C and E. Right, and that's just that's that's a C major chord. That's just root and third. The two is is going to be D and F. D and F. The a D minor chord is a D F and A. D F A is a D minor chord. You're just going to use the root and the minor third because it's a minor chord. So that would be D and F, and it'd be the same thing. Take it to everything a half step up to E minor, just using E minor, the E and the minor third of E minor, which is G. And then when you get to F, that's a half step up, you just use the third of F, F in its third, which is A. Then a, ha a whole step up, G and its third, major third, which is B. Then a, a whole step up with your root finger to A and it would be a half step up with your chord finger which would land you on C and this is an A minor chord just using the root which is A and its minor third which is C and then I have a whole step up with both that lands you with B and D yeah B and D which is like how we did before do we do yeah B yeah B D and we yeah yeah so B and D which is the six I mean which is the seven B and D alright D is B's minor third see and you see right here and then you be back at home with C and E alright so that's what I wanted to do 
from Jump Street, but I guess it was put in my spirit just to give you the whole breakdown so that you can know and that you can begin practicing. So, you know, when you want to, if you want to learn to arpeggiate or whatnot, learning that having the three, the triad chords, major, minor, that helps you which are arpeggiating or whatnot and add spice to your playing as well as that but mostly or well at least what I do whenever I want to hit a chord I just use just the two note chords unless I want to get fancy and do something else with which is another lesson so this is your scale degree major minor minor major major minor minor major C major D minor E minor F major G major A minor B minor back to C major and every note that I hit whether if it was on a, a major note or a minor note it all all the notes were in the C major scale okay so that's pretty much it I hope you know this was a help on scale degrees so if I just say just walk it up to, to the to the four of this scale degree major minor minor major walk it up to the six that be major major minor alright and you can just experiment with like different chords and everything and when you want to talk scales I mean talk modes like Ionian and Phydrian, all that relates, and I do a lesson on that as well. That, like modes, is a lot easier than what people think. If you know the major scale, you know every mode there is. You just don't notice, you know, the proper name, as I was supposed to call it. So, hopefully that was a help. Appreciate everybody who's been commenting, subscribing, continue to do it and and like it. I really appreciate the feedback, all the love and support. It's your boy Ray, over and out.